I chose to be here. You know, I chose to be here. It was a lot of, there was a few other schools reaching out to me, but I chose to be here. And um, that's what guard the yard is. I chose to stay back and guard the yard. Not, not only me, but it was some players that had opportunity to move on and they chose to stay. And they chose to stay here and guard the yard. And these fans, you know, they don't let nobody talk about Jackson State. That's guard the yard. That's what it's all about. And we're going to continue that. Shows the hard work this staff has been doing all uh, in this signing period. Um, we did a good job of vetting guys and trying to get the right guys in here in our program. And um, we wanted to um, make sure we were going to get needs, you know, to replace the needs. And uh, we needed some safeties. We need some receivers. We needed pretty much some upgrades at every position with that transfer portal. So I think we did a good job. You know, we got a very exciting crew for our speed, size, and everything that kind of fits what we're looking for. Just hit the ground running, you know, hit the ground running, you know, um, just going out there after the best available, not step, uh, taking a step back to any other schools. You know, we're Jackson State, you know, I said it earlier, we're the Mecca. You know, we are the standard. And I'm, I'm appreciative of those guys that chose to be with us. You know, we had some guys that really had some strong offers out there. We were able to get on campus and compete with those other schools, and they chose Jackson State. You know, and so we got to uh, make sure they stay here as well so they end up one day being strong alumni for us and great football players at the same time. We always go after the best available. I'm a big guy. I, I'm a big believer going out and get what you need, though. I don't want to necessarily be stockpiling guys. I think that's how you kind of lose guys to the portal. You know, you build depth at positions you need, and then you play those guys, you know, and you keep your word with them. You be honest with them through the recruiting process, and then I think if you do that, and also, too, we do a good job of attacking the parents. You know, a lot of people, a lot of coaches, you know, no knock to them, but they recruit the athlete. We recruit the, the whole family. And I, I think the, a lot of the parents appreciate that. What's the vibe been like just having these guys work out so far? And, you know, oh, man, like it's been awesome. It's awesome. And that's what we talked about, the guys that wanted to stay and guard the yard. You know, and that's what they did. They're here. Um, this is going on week three. And they busting their tails. You know, our strength coach, Coach Beef, coming in from Texas Tech, has done a phenomenal job with, uh, with those guys. You can see the change in their bodies and the, the – the, the one thing that I was kind of concerned about, you know, at the mid-year, we had a lot of transfers come in, and, you know, that's always trying to get them to buy into the culture. And they have did that amongst them from Magnolia, you know, and I came to Jackson State. I know what the state of Mississippi holds for its talent, you know, what it means to Jackson State. You know, you bring in-state talent, you bring in more fans into the stands. You know, and a lot of those uh, kids that we got had parents that went here. So they understand the tradition as well. So I'm excited about them. And then, you know, they can play. <laughs> they can play. We wanted, I wanted to tap back into the, that line for us, bridging the gap with the uh, in-state recruiting these in-state high schools and let them know it's okay to be here at Jackson State.